The 2022 NFL season finally gets going here on Thursday night, and we got a great game to kick this season off and hopefully after what was a pretty poor preseason for us betting wise we can get things turned around here for the regular season so let's jump right into it now the bills travel to los angeles to take on the defending super bowl champions in the los angeles rams and you know it's a rams team that comes into this season very very strong but it's a bills team that does the same i mean the bills enter this season near the top of a lot of people's rankings not to mention they currently sit as the favorite to win the super bowl and i mean for good reason josh allen had a great great season last season and really looks to be a very high powered quarterback once again for this bill squad obviously stefan diggs will continue to build on the success that he had last year and um you know i think the bills will look to run the ball quite a bit in this game as well whether it's with josh allen um, or the running back room as a whole the offensive line does concern me a little bit for this Bills team. You know, wasn't super sold on it last year. I think they have some issues going into the season. But overall, it's a Bills offense that is very, very strong. But so is the Rams. Obviously, Matt Stafford dealing with a little bit of an injury, you know, is a little bit up in the air um, for this game, how it's going to affect him. But he does appear ready to go. It seems like it's not going to affect him too much. Obviously, the return of Cam Akers to this Rams roster will be huge for their run game in general. And Cooper Cup returns as, you know, the greatest receiver that was last year. I mean, he just was outstanding week in and week out doing crazy stuff, putting up crazy numbers. And it's really an offense in the Rams that maybe wasn't the most high flying, maybe wasn't the most electric, but they just found ways to score points. And more importantly, it's a team in the Rams that just found ways to win games. Offensively, they really were a solid, solid team last year. And I think the Rams, if they can slow down the Buffalo run in this game, are going to be in great shape. Obviously, they got to show, slow down Josh Allen's arm in the pass game as well, but it really was a huge difference whether or not the Rams won or lost a season ago based on that run. In games where they gave up more than 100 yards last season, they were 0-4 in those games. Games where they gave up less than 100 yards, they were 11-2. and um, The loss of Von Miller is going to hurt a little bit for this Rams squad, but bringing in Bobby Wagner certainly helps to fill that hole a little bit unfortunately um at least for this not for the bet but <laughs> unfortunately for me personally aaron donald doesn't retire in the offseason but great for the rams defense great for the rams betting this game and we look back to last season the rams as an underdog were actually three and oh against the spread i mean we didn't see him as a dog very often uh, but when we did they played close games um really competitive games as well not to say the bills you know are bad by any means they're certainly not a bad team i mean Certainly, both these teams are really top five teams going into this season, but I don't think the Bills' defense really improved enough from where they were last season. I mean, we saw them have some struggles, especially against the Chiefs in the playoffs, um, but really throughout the season, we saw some struggles more on the defensive side of things than we did on the offensive side of things. I think this game as a whole is going to lean towards the over. I think both these teams are going to be putting on a show, but really, I think the best bet for this game is that Rams money line. I just don't understand why they're the underdog. I mean, I do. The Matt Stafford injury plays into that a little bit. The Bills are the favorite to win the Super Bowl going into the season. But the Rams are also the defending Super Bowl champions. The Rams bring back most of the core pieces that they had from last season. Lose a few, but for the most part, it's still a solid Rams roster. And I just don't know how you differentiate either one of these teams as being, quote unquote, the favorite in this game, especially with the Rams playing at home, the Bills traveling all the way across the country. I think the Rams are more than capable of winning this game, and I don't think they should be underdogs here. I'm taking them plus 115 to get the win against the Bills. That'll do it here for Thursday night's game. And if you want to see more sports betting action for everything going on this week, going on this weekend, head over to hottipbest.com and take a look at the computer model picks up on the website. Got college football and NFL being posted every day. We got games, got daily MLB picks, as well as the UFC Saturday cards. So make sure you take a look at all of the computer model action up on the website. Also, follow the Hot Tip Bets main account at Hot Tip Bets on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, so you don't miss out on anything being posted over there. Follow my personal accounts at Hot Tip Bets Chris on Betstamp, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, so you don't miss out on any of the picks that I'm making and any of the content that I am putting out. And last but definitely not least, if you're watching here on YouTube, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any future uploads. And most importantly, drop a comment down below. Let me know who you guys are betting on here for Thursday's game. And thanks for watching today's show. I will see you guys tomorrow.